How many of you have been thinking about the pronunciation of the ed ending in English? As in the ed ending that marks the past tense of English verbs, like I traveled to Spain last year. If you haven't been thinking about it lately, here's a reason why you should. Sometimes native speakers don't pronounce it, and most of them have no idea that they're doing this. Listen to this. I have imagined where I would be at the pub in Indianapolis, where I watched the games with other Liverpool fans. Did you hear it? Watched the, or was it watch the? I have imagined where I would be at the pub in Indianapolis, where I watched the games with other Liverpool fans. I heard watch the, but based on the context of his conversation and the other verbs that he used, he wasn't talking in the present tense. The correct verb in this case was watched. So what happened here? It's strange. It violates the rules of grammar, but he did not make a mistake here. It's completely okay to drop the ed ending. Sometimes. Let's take a closer look together at the rules of the ed ending, and when it can be dropped from the pronunciation. Let's first talk about the rules of the ed ending, because even my advanced students still sometimes struggle with knowing which ed ending to use, because there are three different pronunciations that are possible. Here are the rules. Rule number one: If the last sound of a verb is voiceless, like the k consonant in the word look. Then the ed ending makes a t sound. This rule is based on voicing. A voiceless final consonant means you'll have a voiceless ed ending. You don't add another syllable here. It's just another consonant added to the end of the verb, and it creates a consonant cluster. Looked, looked. The KT cluster. Typed. Typed. Pt, pt, pt. The PT cluster. Kissed. Kissed. St, st, st. The ST cluster. This rule is true for all voiceless consonants except for two consonants. The H consonant, because there are no words in English that end with the H. Consonant sound, and the t t consonant. The t consonant has its own rule, which you'll learn about in rule number three. Here's rule number two: If the last sound of a verb is voiced, like the l dark l consonant in the word travel, then the ed ending makes a d sound. This rule is again based on voicing. A voiced final consonant means you'll have a voiced ed ending. You also don't add another syllable here; it's just another consonant added to the end of the verb, and it can create a consonant cluster. Traveled, traveled, old, 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 the ld cluster. Bragged, bragged. The GD cluster. Since every vowel and diphthong of English are voiced, this means rule number two also applies to verbs that end in a vowel or diphthong. You simply add the d consonant to the end of the word. Applied, applied, d d d. The d consonant. This rule is true for all vowels and diphthongs that occur at the end of a verb, and all voiced consonants except for three: the w consonant and the y consonant, since no words in English end with those sounds, and the d consonant, which has its own pronunciation rule.
You'll learn that rule next. Here's the last rule, rule number three. If the last sound of a verb is t or d, like the verbs vote and divide, the ed ending creates its own syllable, the short i vowel and the d consonant. This sounds like id. Voted. Voted. Id, id, id. Divided. Divided. Id, id, id. It's important to know that this id syllable is always unstressed. Voted. Divided. Id, id, id. Since it's unstressed, there are many words in which the t or d consonants turn into a flap because you'll have a t or d consonant between two vowels and the second vowel in id is unstressed. Voted, divided. Both the t and d in these words turn into the flap. And this is very common in many ED words that fall under rule number three. It's also important to know that in some words, like wanted, planted, and counted, the t consonant might be dropped from the pronunciation. And in fact, it's very common to drop the t consonant in a word like wanted. I wanted to go. I wanted to eat spaghetti. Wanted. Wanted. I dropped the T from my pronunciation. Why? This word follows the rules of what's called the nasal flap, sometimes called the vanishing T. When N and T are next to each other, between vowels, and the second vowel is unstressed, the T can be dropped from the pronunciation. Wanted. Planted. Counted. This is optional. You could always choose to pronounce wanted with the true T sound. But in some words, it's very common for native speakers to drop the T from the pronunciation. So let's sum up what we've just learned. There are three rules to pronouncing the ed ending. If a verb ends in a voiced consonant, the ed ending is pronounced like d. If the verb ends in a voiceless consonant, the ed ending is pronounced like t. And if the verb ends in a t or d consonant, the ed ending creates its own syllable, id. It's common for the t or d to turn into a flap. And it's also common to drop the t from the pronunciation if it comes after n. These rules are great to know as they will guide you on how to pronounce the ed ending most of the time. However, when you start linking the ed ending to other words, like in phrases and sentences and in conversation, the rules can change. Let's briefly go back to the video I showed at the beginning. The man said, watch the, instead of watched the. Listen again here. I have imagined where I would be at the pub in Indianapolis where I watched the games with other Liverpool fans. This was not a grammar error on his part. There's an actual rule that describes what's happening here. Not all native speakers use this rule in this case when it comes to the ED ending, but you will hear them do it. Here's why. In past videos, I've talked about something called the rule of three. And if this is new to you, I'll put the link below to the videos. Watch these videos. The rule of three will explain so many things that you're hearing in the speech of native speakers, but you're not sure if you're hearing it right. The rule of three states that when three or more consonants are next to each other, either within a word or across word boundaries when linking words together, the middle consonant can be dropped from the pronunciation. You're probably already using this in words like Christmas 
There's no T in Christmas. Attempts. There's no final T in attempts. And asked. You can drop the K in asked. The rule of three simplifies the pronunciation of complex consonant combinations. Sometimes it's followed 100% of the time, like the word Christmas. I've never heard anyone pronounce it like Christmas. And sometimes it's optional, like the word asked. This can be pronounced like asked or asked. Either one is fine. Now let's see how the rule of three applies to the phrase that the man said in the video that you watched. Here's what he said. I have imagined where I would be at the pub in Indianapolis where I watch the games with other Liverpool fans. The phrase I want to focus on is watched the. Let's look at the IPA of this phrase. If I transcribe it completely, you'll see three consonants in a row the ch, t, and th consonants. So if we apply the rule of three to this phrase, the t consonant can be dropped. This results in the pronunciation of watch the, just like the present tense. You may be wondering, really? The past tense will sound exactly like the present tense? Yes, sometimes it can. But you can't just go around dropping the ed ending from all verbs. The rule of three only applies when, number one, you're linking the ed verb to another word. You can't drop the ed ending when saying a word by itself, or when the word ends a phrase or sentence, or if you choose not to link it to anything. It only happens within the context of linking. And you must be speaking at a normal rate, not too slow. Number two, when you're linking the ed verb to a word that begins with a consonant, you must be linking to a consonant, not a vowel. And number three, when the linking results in at least three consonants in a row. But like I mentioned earlier, this particular application of the rule of three is optional. Not everyone will do it, especially if they are trying to speak slowly or they want to make sure that people understand them as clearly as possible. But in fast speech, when native speakers aren't thinking about what they're saying, it does happen. But most native speakers have no idea that they're doing it. So today, as you interact with native speakers, maybe at work, at a conference, or while watching TV, I want to challenge you to listen for the rule of three within the context of the ED ending. And if it's a past tense verb, this will mean the past tense will sound exactly like the present tense. I bet you'll hear it at least once. If you're ready to practice the ED ending even more, then check out my online accent training community called English Pro. Enrollment opens in September, 2023. But if you pre-enroll now, you'll get your first month free. Details on how to pre-enroll in English Pro are below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.